Hi Stampers, this is Dawn from Dawnstabeekthoughts.net and today we're going to make this adorable box. This one came from my downline Chris when she came to my Glitter Queens retreat a couple months ago and this was one of her pillow gifts for all of us and I absolutely loved it and I believe she said that this creator of this box is Elaine. I hope I get that right. It's Elaine from the UK and she gave us a quick tutorial at breakfast one morning. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this box. And let me show you the ones that I've made already. Okay, so here's one that uses the Bohemian designer paper. And I'm just going to tell you exactly what I used for each box before we get into making the box. So what I did for this one is I used the star framelits with the rich razzleberry and the gold foil sheet and the gold glimmer paper. And that's pretty much it for that one. Okay, so now here's the Halloween one. Oh my gosh, isn't he cute? So then you take the lid off. Looks like that. Let me show you what I used for this one. This one is the Halloween Treat stamp set with the Booty You framelits, which comes in a bundle. Save 15%. So that's what I used on the Halloween one. I love it. Okay, so now this one I used the Into the Woods designer paper with Early Espresso. And then the two stamp sets I used for is, that. Uh, corny Thank You for the Acorn. And then the greeting is the Hello Autumn for all your cheer. And then this, the corny thank you, comes with the matching acorn punch in a bundle. But I love this one. It's just so cute. And then I added the gold glitz dazzling details on that. Can you see it? So cute. Okay, so then here's the Christmas one. I'm using Season of Cheer designer paper. And then the image on the front is the cup of cheer. And it's, soon it will be Christmas Day. And I punched that out with two... I believe it was a two and a half inch circle punch. And then I used the circle framelits and I used the two, two and three quarter inch circle, which is the sixth from the inside with the red foil paper. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to keep mine actually pretty simple today because I figured it would probably be easier to follow. So I'm using the envelope paper and this is in the end color. So I'm going to use the mint macaron and this is the 12 by 12 and it's double sided. You got a solid color on one side. And then this one has the stripes, but I think there's another style too. So you get four sheets of each color, two designs. And then I'm going to use a piece of the mint macaron, eight and a half by 11. So we're going to go ahead and cut this. Okay, so first we're going to cut this at nine by nine. And this is the envelope paper. Cut it two and three quarter. Let me see here. Two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Okay, so those are the two pieces we're going to use for the box. Now we're going to cut the cardstock. You're going to need two pieces cut at three by three. And on one piece, you're going to score at three eighths and that's right before the half inch and you're going to score all four sides and I'm just using this side of my trimmer score okay so all four sides should be scored at three eighths of an inch okay so we're going to set these pieces aside now we're going to go ahead and make the box so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to decide what side you want facing out. And what I mean by that is what side you want facing out for the bottom of your box. And I'm going to do the solid, the mint macaron for my bottom. So you're going to put that face down. So next we're going to go ahead and fold this in half. Okay, then you're going to open it and then you're going to turn it and fold it in half again. Okay, now this time we're going to fold it corner to corner or point to point. Okay, so now you're going to fold your points in like this. So you should see the color that you want your bottom of your box to be like that. So it should be a square. Okay, so you're going to have your open end facing yourself. So it should face like this. Okay. Then you're going to take one of your sides and you're going to fold it in half just to make that crease line right here. 
Now we're going to take this corner here and we're going to fold it over to meet that line that we just made. Okay, and you're going to do the other side this exact same way. I just want to make those points. The envelope paper is really thin, so it's easy to fold too. Okay, so now once we get this section done with the point still facing down towards us, you're going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. So you're just going to fold it over just to make a crease line so you have a guide, and then fold it over. Do the other side. Okay, so now it should look like an ice cream cone, I guess. With the points facing us, still, you're going to go ahead and open one side up, and you're going to take your panel here, put your finger inside, and you're going to line up this, this line right here of your score line with this line here of your angle point. And you're going to do all four points like that. Let's go to the other side, do the same thing, open it, making sure that lines up with the score line. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and flip it over and do the same thing. Open it up. You got one more here. Okay, so now it should look like this on both sides. Now you're going to flip this over and you're going to fold the opposite way now on both sides. Folding it right up to that score line. Okay. Flip it over, and you're going to do the same thing. Open it up, and then fold it in. Still with the points facing you. Okay, so now it should look like this. Now, the final step here for the Okay, folding. so you're going to want to fold your point right where this starts, right here. So you're just going to fold it up, and you're going to line it up with this score line here. Okay, then you're going to open it up, and then you're going to fold this point up the same way. You're going to do all four sides that way. Okay, so that's all the folding that we're going to do now. So now it should look like this. So now when you open it up here, this is where you're going to form your box. So now you're going to be very careful because you could rip these sides. So what I found is I'm just going to put my hand inside and just kind of start forming the box. And this little box seriously holds a lot of candy. I'll show you Chris's here in a minute. So that's it. Isn't that adorable? So now Chris showed us when she demonstrated this at breakfast. We're going to glue these points down, but even if you didn't, it's so super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down with the, the multi-purpose liquid glue. And the trick with this glue is you're just going to hold it in place. So you're going to wrap it to the bottom and you're just going to hold that. I'm going to put my hand inside and I'm just pressing that down, holding it for just a few seconds. And it's really going to hold it really, really good. Okay, you could also take your bone folder and give these a little curl so it automatically wants to go the way you want to glue it down. So 
So just add some more glue. So there's your box. Isn't that adorable? All right, so now let's make the lid. I'm going to take your your three by three piece that we already scored at three three eighths of an inch. Fold your score lines, and then I'm going to cut on the four corners up to that score line. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, and I'm going to add some glue dots one to each corner. Okay, then you're just going to fold your corners in and you're going to overlap it to make your little lid. And that's it. Okay, so now depending on what side you want showing out, I think I want to do the stripes. I'm going to decorate the top. Okay, and then we're going to take the liquid glue, put it on the bottom section, and then flip this over, kind of centering it on your 3x3 three three piece. Just hold that there for a couple seconds. So then you're going to put this on your box, just like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. And of course, you've already seen them, but let's bring them in again. We pretty much have one for every season. Here's the Halloween one. And then this one could be for a birthday or uh, thinking of you. Then here's Christmas. And then here's Autumn. And then I was going to show you all the candy that you can get in. This is the one that Chris gave me. Look at all this candy. And mind you, there's even more room for even more. So it all fits right in here. Okay, so that's it. Super cute. I love this box, as you can tell. So thank you, Chris, and thank you, Elaine. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.